because this is factoring number two. So I'm going to ask you again, let's factor x squared plus 8x plus 12. I want to know what are the two original parentheses that made x squared plus 8x plus 12. And from the last video, uh, to get this first term, this had to be these the first part of these parentheses multiplied together to get x squared. There's only one way to get x squared, which is x times x. So these first two terms had to be an x and an x. Now we just got to figure out what are the two numbers that went with them. What are you adding to these x's to get the 8x and the 12? These two numbers we know have to make a 12 and an 8x. These two numbers will multiply together to make 12. So this is what they're going to multiply to make. And then when these multiply the x's, they're going to be like terms, and they're going to add up to make an 8x. So these two numbers here, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to make 12 and add up to make 8. So for the 12, let's figure out first, what are all the ways of multiplying to make 12? Because there's an infinite number of ways of adding to make 8. There's only so many ways of multiplying to make 12 with whole numbers. So let's see what those are. Uh, the most basic, 1 times 12, and then you got 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. And you don't really have to uh, list them again backwards because they're the same thing. Like if I write uh, 6 times 2, it's the same. And if you when you add those, it's still 2 plus 6. You don't got to list repeat. So these are the three basic ways of getting 12. One of these should make, sh the number should add up to make 8. 1 plus 12 is 13. That's not that one. 2 plus 6, that adds up to make 8. So it looks promising. 3 plus 4, that makes 7. That doesn't work. So here, the 2 and the 6. 2 and the 6 will multiply to make 12, and 2 plus 6 will add up to make 8. So these two missing numbers here must have been a 2 and a 6. And again, it doesn't matter where you put them, because x plus 2 times x plus 6 is the same as x plus 6 times x plus 2. Let's double check our work, make sure that it's right. So I'm going to write out the parentheses there. x plus 2 times x plus 6. Will this make our other thing? It should. So distribute the first one. x times x is x squared x times 6 is 6x. Six this 2 here will multiply by the x and also the 6. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 6 is the 12. And this can be simplified. The middle terms are like terms. We can combine them. 6x and 2x make 8x's. And then there's a plus 12. Same as what we got above. So x squared plus 8x plus 12 is exactly the same as x plus 2 times x plus 6. We figured out the x's because it's the only way to make x squared. And these two, we know that the 2 and the 6 had to multiply to make 12. And the 2 plus the 6, when you multiply them by the x's, will add up to make 8x. 